Good morning, Wendy Antonucci here with Coco Daisy, the planner team, and I am going to show you my January setup, how I use my Mambi planner, and how I turn it into a Coco Daisy wonder. So, every time when I get my pack of papers, I look through and see the theme. I'm gonna use a lot of the stickers, a lot of the die cuts, and even some of the pages as I did here. But there's also, I want to make sure it integrates into my page and doesn't look like something separate. So what I tried this time and what I wanted to show you today was these amazing products. They're by American Crafts. They are the Bible, the journaling pens. Um, they were, um, they're gel and they act as a highlighter, but they also work great on your page. There are a bunch of colors. They're um, named self-control, gentleness, peace, joy. So there are a whole bunch of colors. I chose faithfulness and gentleness for my page. The self-control worked also, but it was a little too dark for what I wanted to do. So I'm going to show you how I set up my pages. The other items that I chose to use that seemed to go with the pattern was uh, I had a Bow Bunny stamp that had that coffee stain that came in the classified kit um, as I didn't get the stamp this time. My loss. I also have an old Coco Daisy stamp set that had these swirls on it. Keep it simple and then just a bunch of squiggles and I felt that matched well also. So I'm going to be using those. Um, this is the ink that came in the memory keeping um, classified, the gingerbread. Then I also have turquoise gem and aquatic splash. Ready? All right, so I have some spare planner pages. So I'm going to show you how I went about setting up my planner. You can see it here. So um, my current page is just set up with some stickers and washi. This is just one of the, um, oh, I don't know what they're called, but the I just stuck it onto the divider. This one, and this is new for me, I've never tried this before. I was actually able to stick down the A5 page right on my calendar and so I added a few things. I covered up the holes because I did get punched this time. Um, and it worked great. And I do believe you could actually do that over here too. I have not tried that and I will try that probably next time. Okay, so here is week one. So I did cut out some of the triangles and the titles and some of the tags, but it looks kind of plain without that. So you can see some of the, um, the gel pen here. And then here's that coffee stamp and the squiggle one. And then I just like to carry that through the whole month. So again, different pieces that I cut out, but again, the coffee stamp, there's that, um, the inking with those gel pens. It's real light, but it just adds in. And then um, there's the squiggle. I also pulled in my, I believe this is Fiskar hexagon punch to match the ones that were in the planner pages. Here's another page of it. Again, you can see that the gel pen just makes it look like it was always a part of it, I think. And here's another set. And so I am all set up and ready for the month. And let me show you how I did that. So on each spread, before I began, I did look through my pack of A5 papers to decide what I wanted to put on here. But the base of each one was this pen. So I started with the gentleness, and you just color as much as you want, wherever you want. I'm not a real, well, I'm not an artist, so it just was random. And then I uh, put a few streaks. This was a darker color. And then you can do it with your finger, and that rubs in nicely. But what I found really worked well is I have baby wipes and just stuck my finger in a little bit of it 
and then just moved it around. It gave it more of the watercolor look and it took out all the scribbling uh, effect. And it really didn't make it wet at all, so it wasn't a problem, like it didn't pucker or anything. There's a little bit, but it's probably because it's not even in my book. Now, that's on one side, so I always like to have a few places going on here, almost like a visual triangle. So I'm gonna also put, I believe, a little bit here. Um, if you added in, here's the darker one. I'll show you how that worked. I'll put that up here, I guess. Just a few stripes in there. And I've lost my, there it is. And again, here's my little messy wipe. Just color that in. That got a little bit wetter, I mean, I don't like that, but it seems like the darker ones are a little bit harder to rub in. Not harder, but you do have to rub a little bit more or get it a little bit wetter. And there's another one. I also tried the yellow um, because of the, um, like the travel theme had that yellowish, greenish look. It was a little bit too much though, but I'll show you too. But again, it was more bright than I expected. So there's some of the yellow green. And here's a clean spot. So the yellow is pretty bright, although there it doesn't seem to be. Um, and then you can still go back in and add some more. I think it works better with the um, with something wet to kind of to move the ink around. But it stays, it doesn't smear, it, it just works really, really well. So I'm really pleased with these. So these are the American, American Craft Bible Journaling Pens. And you can use them in a Bible, you can use them on a piece of paper to highlight something. Like if I want to highlight this week, just color it in. And so it's a highlighter, you can smudge it a little bit if you'd like. Um, but it, it stays put, so I'm really pleased with these. I'm so excited that I bought these. Um, I did buy them at scrapbook.com, and I believe I got them on sale during that planner sale, and it's probably still going on. All right, so the next thing I did, once I put this here, I went for my coffee stains, and I did use the gingerbread, and... This is the Bow Bunny stamp. It's from a long time ago. I'm sure there are other coffee stain ones out there, but this is the one I had. Now, sometimes I do like to run them off the page. This one I'm gonna just go ahead and put right here on the page. Okay, so you can just go ahead and add right over your gel pen, your highlighter. It doesn't seem to matter whatsoever. Um, I also like to Kind of let them hang off the page. So let me get some of my scrap papers. And, you know, let's see here. I think I need one up here, but I don't want it to cover my words and such. So I'm just going to use some of my pieces that I've cut out of. You can already see some of the coffee stains from. And let's see here. I, I really like the splatter side. So I'm going to go just like that. Now, I've already trimmed the heading off of this one to use on a different page. You can see like how neat the coffee stain looks even on one of these pages. Like if you could, see how it fits right in there? This side you would need to trim a little bit, but it fits right in. If you trimmed a little bit, you could use a whole A5 Coco Daisy page and just stick it in your Mambi planner. I like the Mambi because it stays, um, I can keep my whole year together. So that's really neat. So I would just cut this piece off here, for instance. It's a little bit wonky as I've already cut some other stuff, but you'll get the idea. And uh, this might go right here, okay? And then you can add in, uh, well, I've already stole the triangles off of here, but you could do some of the triangles and such. The next thing I was adding in is I'm going to use the squiggle stamp, and I'm using the turquoise gem because I like turquoise. I like that under here, actually, maybe with the... So I'm going to just lift up that and stamp that. 
you see? And then I'm, I'll be able to hide it in there. So it looks like it's integrated into that, which is really what I'm trying for. I don't want a planner that looks like I've stuck things in. I want it to be a part of it. And here's another piece, but I am going to let it hang off a little bit, I believe. So I'm just gonna cover it up, except there's holes on that side. So just like that. Okay, and I need a triangle, so I'm gonna come down here because you want a visual triangle. You wanna pull your eyes around. You don't always have to, but as a scrapbooker first, uh, that's what goes through my mind. And I'm gonna put the other set, hmm, I don't know, I think right there. Okay, so now my page is set up and then I'm able to add things in. My next step, as I showed you on this, is to usually add in some sort of the pattern of the paper. Uh, this is the, um, the personal size, but I cut this out of the bigger one. This month is a little bit harder to fussy cut out, but like these triangles work really well. So I might cut those out and just kind of scatter them through the page. Let me show you one of those. Here's one that I left intact, and those are the stickers. And here's one that I scattered. So that would be another option. But once I've added in some of the paper patterns, then I like to go to the stickers and start adding these in. Um, here's, let's see here, winter happenings. Well, we don't have winter here in Florida, so I'm going to use this one. But you can just add it in wherever you see fit. Um, let's see here, some of the ones that I haven't used, let's see. Mm, okay. So, stuff to bring. I'm gonna add that one in. And you just kinda add them in wherever you want, whatever would fit your page. Um, the sticky notes were great this time too because they're tags. You can make it hang off. Uh, let's see here, I think it would look great like that. So just kinda integrate it in. The one other thing that I found that I was really thrilled with was Bella Boulevard has washi tape, but I didn't know they had this real skinny one. So I chose a teal color, and because I really don't like the black lines that are in my planner this year, I guess I didn't pick the right one for me, I don't know. Um, I just covered them up, and they stick, they give you a little bit of division if you want, and they cover up the black if you don't want that. And so that is my planner. I went through the whole month, so it's all set up and ready to go. Sometimes I do that. Um, lately I have been sewing that so that the uh, pattern would go through the whole um, set. You can see I did this last night and it didn't transfer and it the pages are nice and flat so they didn't buckle the water didn't cause any problem or the dampness I should say here's a die cut some of those sticker labels more die cuts and there's some more some more of the Bella washi tape this is just using the pages right as is and sticking them in there, which I loved. And then a few stickers just to dress this up so I can add in my things. So thank you for joining me. Um, I hope that this has given you some ideas how you can use other planners with the Coco Daisy products. And of course, these fun new products that I will link on my blog so that you can find them yourself if you are interested. And I'm sure some of the other pens do that. I have some of the... Uh, Tim Holtz Distress Crayons, but I've not tried it yet. And like I said, these, they don't budge, and I'm really happy with them. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.